Welcome to another episode of InRange. I'm coming to you today from San Patricio, New Mexico. Right behind me is the beautiful church, San Patricio, for which this community is named. This church was built in the early 1870s and is still standing here today. But more importantly, this church was here to witness one of the most significant events of the Lincoln County War. In July of 1878, McSween and the Regulators were displaced from Lincoln and having skirmishes all around this area, little gun battles up and down the Rio Benito and near San Patricio. Now, every time I do a video here on InRange uh, about Billy the Kid or the Regulators or the Lincoln County War, there's inevitably comments in the comment section about how Billy the Kid was nothing more than a common thief, a murderer, a criminal, and a killer of law enforcement officials. And the Regulators and Billy the Kid definitely were that. Uh, it, there's videos here on InRange about them assassinating Brady right on the main street of Lincoln itself. And, of course, Billy the Kid in his escape from the Lincoln County Courthouse ended up killing Deputy Bell and Bob Ollinger, amongst others. However, it's not as clear cut as that, and I think that this event here might help clarify some of that situation. This church is actually open to anyone that wishes to visit it. I'm gonna walk you through it right now just so you can see an example of what this building looked like back in 1878 and still does today. Just imagine, 1878, the parish was worshiping here, forming community and friendship, friends with Billy the Kid, the McSweens, and the Regulators. And it looked just like that then, just like it does now. So in June of 1878, the Regulators and McSween didn't have the strength to take control of Lincoln proper, but they were still waging a war, or waging the Lincoln County War all around Lincoln County, mostly up and down the Rio Benito and around this epicenter of San Patricio, the community I'm standing in right now. Dolan Group, supported by local law enforcement, specifically Sheriff Pepin, couldn't really get an upper hand on them and they were getting really tired of that. And they knew that this community was friendly to the Regulators. Billy the Kid was bilingual, was friends with the Hispanic community, and the Regulators and Billy the Kid would spend time here for rest and relaxation in San Patricio. They attended some dinners and even dances and parties here. But at this point, and I quote from Frederick Nolan in this book, The West of, the, of Billy the Kid, Sheriff Pepin stated that he would turn those who sympathized with the Regulators out of their houses, that he would take all of their property, and that he had the power to do so as he pleased. Dolan and Kinney enthusiastically endorsed this sentiment. Now let me remind you that Pepin is the local sheriff, Kinney is his deputy, and Dolan is just a corporate cattleman working with them. He literally stated that he could just turn people out of their homes and take all of their property. Well, he decided to enact that policy here in San Patricio on July 3rd, 1878. Initially, he sent in his deputy Chavez Ibaca, but he was turned back by regulator fire somewhere down the Rio Benito. Later in the day, Deputy John Kinney, Deputy John Long, and Jimmy Dolan of the Murphy Dolan House came in here with support of 20, about 20, if not 12 to 20 people, and ransacked this village. They came in like horsemen of the apocalypse, shooting up the place, shooting at people in the field. They started kicking in homes and doors, ransacking homes, taking out property, and telling the, the residents of San Patricio they were here to look for the regulators, and that if you aided and supported the regulators, this is how you would be treated. They went to the local Dow Brothers store, tore off the roof, ransacked it, and stole most of the property. There was one man they knew that was specifically friends with Alex McSween, and they shot his horse in front of him, told him he'd be next if he wasn't careful. They stole $408 from an old woman in the street. Now let me remind you, these are Deputy John Kinney, Deputy John Long, and a corporate man, Dolan, under orders from Sheriff Pepin of the local Lincoln County law enforcement organizational structure. So when you say to me that Billy the Kid was a criminal and outlaw killing law enforcement officials, well, I would like to remind you that the reality is that this was the Santa Fe Ring, this was a corrupt organization, and this was the type of behavior that the law enforcement acted in to the local community. San Patricio itself was unable to defend itself and as a result it pretty much just took it. Now it slowly rebuilt over time but stayed quiet after that. Only 16 days later McSween and the regulators attempted to control all of Lincoln and they were burned out of their own home. There's another video coming about that on InRange TV. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. If you like this kind of content, please consider supporting me on Patreon. This is a Patreon-supported only project. This is funded by only you, the viewer. No sponsors, no overlords. If you already are one, thank you. If you'd like to consider it, you can find us at patreon.com slash inrangetv. But more importantly, share with your friends. Thanks for watching.